Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you another commentary today, and I actually got a special guest for you guys today, and it has been so long we have been trying to do this, and I'm just going to let him introduce himself to you guys. What is up, Russo? Guys, uh, my name is Eric, also known as Aviator, and I gotta say, it really has been quite the adventure making this dual commentary. First off, Russo has made this a very long adventure because the guy is like the most busy person I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, and secondarily, we recorded this commentary once before, and then I guess Skype didn't like us, and yeah, it, it ended halfway through. So we're back, we're live, I'm on Russo's channel, and this is very exciting because I wanted to do a dual com with you, man. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, this is absolutely awesome. I mean, something from as simple as, you know, just asking you to check out my channel and what it's, you know, evolved into a great relationship and everything like that. Really something special, and I definitely appreciate all the help that you've given me and any of the advice. And with me being busy, I've been very busy with school, so it's been pretty hard to juggle. But, you know, I'm going to jump right into the topic on hand today, and that is that, you know, me and Eric, or Aviator as you guys want to call him, you know, we're the players that we're not going to put up the 101 kill death games. We're not going to put up these amazing scores yeah we have great games but really people like us for our voice we found our voices and they like what we do with our channels and they you know they like our actual commentaries absolutely man i mean you know my my whole foundation is that I, i'm not just about gameplay the majority of what i put up on my channel these days is adventures is taking people out of outside of the gaming world and taking them flying or skydiving or whatever else you know taking them doing doing something different and fun and uh for me I, mind you i love to game but i'm not that good and so, you know, I'm, I'm above average, I guess. Like, if you look at the world's average, I'm a little bit above average, but I'm no freaking Sandy Ravage. You know, I'm not going to be able to sit down here and knock down these crazy kill games unless I just get really, really lucky. I've got some of those big high kill games, but yep. uh, it's rare. You know, I'm no RJ34 with 222 <laughs> kills and no chopper. Oh, that's, that's not going to happen. That's That's so yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, it's fun, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, when I started out, I was a very good player, but I played competitively, and the competitive mindset... Is completely different than when you're trying to go for a commentary because when you're trying to go for a commentary you're going aggressive you're going all out you're trying to get the best you know score that you can get when you're playing aggressive like for competitively you got to think and it's a lot more thought process and you know you're not gonna get those amazing scores because the level of players you're playing against is absolutely ridiculous and some of the scores that these kids get you know still blow my mind today but you know the difference between getting a great game and a commentary is definitely something that I like to focus on because you know I've been making my road to commander and I've been trying to keep up with it but like you know Eric said before guys I'm very busy with school and he knows that more than anybody and uh, you know people are you know not liking that I don't have my commentary voice over my road to commanders they don't like the music I mean they like the music but they'd rather hear me commentate and that's something I really you know that was really interesting to me because you know I didn't know you guys liked my voice that much well, it's because you make you make gameplay interesting. We all have watched so much video game footage over the last couple of years. Oh, that yeah. Honestly, some of us get kind of tired of it. And if we don't have that personality to latch on to, it doesn't quite work the same way. So, uh, you know, it, unless it's like ridiculously good scoring clips or things that are just, mm -hmm. you know, superhuman, Zerg Riz style, there's <laughs> yeah, no reason exactly. to watch it without commentary. Oh, I know. I mean, some of the guys who put music behind, I mean, they, some of the gameplays, I'm just still in shock and awe. And, you know, I go in and if I get 40 kills in a team deathmatch, I am pumped, like running around the room, fist pumping, like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you know, and these guys just to get like, yeah, like 50 in one games, like it's no big deal. And they just keep uploading them. But, you know, I'm really glad that I found my voice. And it's actually something that's really, you know, benefited me in the long run because a lot of people really like how I sound over the mic. And I do kind of change up my voice a little bit more but i think that high energy brings something to you know my subscribers and anyone else who's looking at my channel you know it's something that they don't really see a lot you know when you go to watch these other commentators sometimes their voices are boring and soft and you know what you don't really feel like they're there with you, you just feel like they're talking and mumbling over the gameplay but if you get your subscriber involved and you know give them that high energy they really truly enjoy it and that's the feedback i've been getting from my channel Absolutely, man. If you can't be passionate about it, why are you doing it? Exactly. My biggest pet peeves, man. Everyone always asks, you know, what should I do to make my videos better? And the first line out of their mouth as they start making their videos, well, I don't really know what to talk about. Then don't talk! Exactly. Dear Lord, find something you can talk about. It's so important. It just blows my mind. I've never quite understood that whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, if you you can literally talk about anything as long as your subscribers, you know, like you as a person, you can make it funny or you can make it interesting. It's all what you want to talk about. I mean, you literally can't talk about anything, but, you know, give some tips, give some, you know, whatever you want to do. And if you really can't find something to talk about, that's pretty crazy because, you know, <laughs> especially playing Black Ops, there's new stuff that comes up in every game that you just probably want to rant about or say, oh my god, how did this happen, or something like that that you can focus on.
You know, I don't even know if I'll play Black Ops again. I, I got Battlefield 3 uh, up and running last night, obviously. Yeah. Last night. And I played until 4 a.m. Oh, my God. And I had so much fun. The game is just ridiculous. I've got to say, man, like, I, I'm... I'm a Battlefield noob as far as Battlefield 3 goes. I've got, I played the beta for a few hours. I've got uh, a, a bit of time in Battlefield Back Company 2, I think like 15 hours or something. But, dude, it is the most fun I've had. Plus, I'm playing on PC, which I'm not a PC gamer. It's my first right. PC game. So it's it's uh, it's a learning experience every step of the way. But, daggummit, it's fun. Yeah, I mean, my, friend, my friends are giving me so much crap because I told them, you know what, Modern Warfare 3 all the way. A couple of my friends from home, you know, they got Battlefield 3. They want me to play with them so bad. I'm sticking to my guns and going with Modern Warfare. But if people are saying Battlefield 3 is going to be really fun, and if my friends are only going to be getting that, I'm definitely going to be going to uh, get that game just because I want to play with my friends. And that's, you know, video games should be fun, guys. You should be doing it for fun. You should be passionate about what you're doing, commentating, anything like that. It shouldn't be because you guys want to make money. It shouldn't be, you know, anything to do with that. You guys should love what you do. And even if you're not making any money, you should still enjoy it and like to put out content. You know, reason for me, I mean, I'm sure it's exactly the same with you, Eric. I mean, when I put up a video and I see those views go up and I see the likes and people interacting with me, I got kids from overseas who are interacting with me. That would never happen anywhere else besides YouTube. And something Absolutely, like that man. is, it's just, you know, astonishing and it's amazing to me. It makes me a happy camper, man. It oh really my does. God. <laughs> it, it's, it's awesome. But, you know, as Eric was saying, guys, he was saying he played Battlefield 3 last night on his Twitch. Go to twitch.com slash aviator. It's a great channel. I'm a mod in there. Always have fun in there. You're welcome, Eric. It's an, it's an awesome channel. <laughs> Thanks you know, for you the shout it. out, man. You deserve. I gotta it, say, so. the whole live streaming thing is a blast. It gives you a whole new opportunity to get to know people and uh, hang out in the chat and whatnot. I I don't know. I'm I'm enjoying it. It's good times. It's good times. It's, <laughs> I mean, I remember you tried to like help me out in trying to get this whole live stream set up, and I I don't know where to even start. So I mean, I'm running off school internet, you know, school laptop. So it's it's so frustrating. But you know, the fact that you're doing it, buying extra stuff for your subs, you know, the 1080 camera is amazing. Uh, I truly appreciate that. It's really cool to watch, and I always always enjoy hanging out in there. Good, man. Thanks so much. Well, obviously, I know the gameplay is probably coming to a close, so I, I should probably let you go, or you should probably let me go. <laughs> this is on your channel. i got to let you do leave. Yeah. But, uh, no, man, thank you so much for having me on. I really, truly appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It's It's been an honor, and I'm really glad that we finally got this commentary, you know, done with. Um, You know, looking forward to our relationship in the future and everything like that. I'm really glad, you know, I got to meet you. And, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully everything goes well from here, and we both go grow bigger. And uh, I wish you the best of luck with everything on your channel. First sure, man. Have a good one. All right, you too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.